Hi everyone and welcome back to the channel Salesforce FAQs. So in this video, I'm going to tell you how you can restore the deleted records in Salesforce or you can say how you can undelete the records in Salesforce. So when we delete records in Salesforce, they are stored in the recycle bin of Salesforce and in the recycle bin, the deleted record will be there for the duration of 15 days. And we can recover only those records that are there in the recycle bin. So it means that if record is not there in the recycle bin of Salesforce, we won't be able to restore it. So first let me show you the recycle bin of Salesforce and how the records are stored over there. So right now I am on the setup page of Salesforce Lightning and to navigate on the recycle bin you have to click on the app launcher and here search in select recycle bin. And in the recycle bin you can see the records that I deleted. So this record will be here till the duration of 15 days or till the time when you don't remove them manually. So to restore a record it is compulsory that record should be in the recycle bin. So there are three methods by which you can restore the deleted data. So the first method is manually restoring the data directly from the recycle bin. And second method is using the Salesforce data loader. So in Salesforce data loader is a third party application that is used to perform bulk data operations. And if you haven't downloaded the data loader, then I will also give a video link in the description from where you can see how you can install the data loader in Windows. And the last method is using the Salesforce Workbench in which we are going to run the SQL queries to fetch the deleted records. And with the help of ID of deleted records, we are going to undelete those records. So first to move ahead to the first method where we are going to manually restore the records from the recycle bin. So right now I have opened the recycle bin and here you can see there are the records. So for example, I want to restore or undelete this opportunity record. So what we have to do, we have to simply select the checkbox of these records. And after that, we have to simply click on the restore button. So you can see the records were restored. And now you can see those opportunity records are removed from the recycle bin. And now I will go to the opportunities tab. So here click on the app launcher and search and select opportunities. So as you can see in the list we have recently viewed, you can see these are the four records that we have restored right now from the recycle bin. So this is how you can manually restore the records from the recycle bin. And now we will move to the next part where we will undelete the data using the Salesforce data loader tool. So as of now in the recycle bin, you can see these are the four leads that I've deleted. And now using the data loader tool, I am going to restore these four lead records. So for that, I will first open the data loader tool. So this is the UI of data loader. And here you can see different operations like insert, update, upsert, delete, undelete, export and export all. So first we are going to fetch the deleted lead records using the using the export all data operation and to restore the deleted data there are two options that you can use the undelete option where you will need the IDs of those records and you can also use the insert operation to recreate the deleted records. So first we will click on the export all button to fetch the deleted records. So in this example I am going to fetch the lead records so I will search and select the object lead. And after this, you have to select the location for the CSV file where you want to store the extracted data. So I will name it as deleted leads. And make sure that you save this file to the location where it can be accessed to the data loader tool. And after this, click on the next button. And now in this step, we have to select the object fields. So for example, you want to restore the data with some changes. So for that, you can select all the fields. And after this, you can perform the insert operation. And now we have to apply a filter to fetch the deleted records. So for that, go to the field and here enter is deleted. And the value will be true. So it will fetch the deleted records. And after applying the query and after entering the field and the value, click on the add condition. So this query will be applied to this export operation. And after this, we have to click on the finish button and here click yes. So now you can see we have four successful extraction. So I will click on the button view extraction. And now in the CSV viewer of the data loader, you can see the extracted data of the deleted records. So this is how you can fetch the deleted records. And now I will open this data in the external file. So for that, click on the button open in external program. So from here, you can make the changes in the values of the fields. So here you can make the changes in the field values and after making the changes you have to save the file and make sure that you save this file in the CSV format.
so now to insert the records here i will close the previous data operations and this time we are going to insert those records so for that i will click on the insert button and here we have to select the object so it was the lead object so i will search and select lead and after this browse the csv file that we have saved right now and after selecting the file click on the next button and here click ok and now in this window we have to map the object field with the csv header columns so for that click on the button create or edit a map and as of now the columns are auto match and if in case they are not auto match you have to click on the button auto match field to the columns and then click ok button and here click next to proceed and at last click on the finish button and here click yes so you can see it is showing four successful insert and zero errors so i will click on the button view successes and at last column it will show the item is created so as you can see in the status the item is created that means we have that means we have recreated the lead records that were deleted so when you go to the leads and here i will change the list view to today's leads so here it will show the leads that i have added right now using the data loader but when you restore the deleted data using the insert operation it won't remove the data from the recycle bin like the deleted records will be still there in the recycle bins so what we have done here we have fetched the deleted data and reinserted that so for example when you restore the records without making any changes in those records so for that you can select the undelete operation so here i will again close the previous data operation so to perform the undelete operation i have deleted some opportunity records and now i will show you how you can restore this opportunity records using the undelete operation so again we have to export the deleted data of the object so for that click on the button export all and make sure that you select export all because in export all operation only you will be able to fetch the deleted data so here we will search and select the object for which we want to fetch the deleted data and here we will select the file name and then click next so in the undelete operation we only need the id of the object record so here i will select the id and for the reference also i will select the name field and after selecting the records we will apply the query that record should be deleted so is deleted equals to true and then click on the button add condition and then click finish so here we will get the deleted opportunity record so here click on the button view extraction and now open this data in the external program that is in an excel csv file and after extracting the deleted records we are going to perform the undelete operation so for that click on the undelete button and here again select the object so it was opportunity object and then we have to browse the csv file that we have created right now and then click next so as we click next the data loader will initialize the uploaded csv file and display the number of rows so here click ok to proceed and now in this window we have to map the csv file so for that click on the button create or edit a map so in this case id is already mapped and when we undelete any record we only need to map the id so here id is already mapped so we will click on the next button and at last click on the finish and in the warning message click yes so now you can see the data loader operation is started and we have five successful undelete and one error so let's see what error we get so this record was already removed from the recycle bin also that why that's why we were not able to fetch it and rest of the five opportunity records were restored that i've shown you right now in the recycle bin so as you can see you can match the names so you can see global expansion strategy tech innovation partnership garden logistics and at last edge generators so these are the so these are the opportunity records that i have restored using the data loader and here i will close the data operation so now in the recycle bin when i will refresh it it will it will refresh these four opportunity records so now you can see there are no opportunity records in the recycle bin and when i will go back to the opportunity tab these are the records restored back to the opportunity so this is how you can undelete or restore the data using the salesforce data loader tool so at last we will move to the workbench part like how you can use the salesforce workbench to restore the deleted data
So now I am on the setup of Salesforce Workbench. So to open the Workbench, you have to simply follow the URL workbench.developerforce.com. And after that, you have to log in with your Salesforce credential. So to undelete the data using the Salesforce, make sure that you selected the environment as production and then select I agree the terms of service and then click on the button login with Salesforce. And now in this window, select the option SQL query because using the SQL query, we are going to fetch the deleted records. And here we have to select the object for which we want to recover the deleted data. So the object here is lead and then click on the select button. So here we have to run the query. So to fetch the deleted lead records, I will I will run the query as select ID name from leads where deleted equals to true. So this is the SQL query that will fetch us the deleted leads. And after this, click on the query button and also make sure that you have selected the checkbox include to include the deleted records. And after this, click on the query button. Okay, so here we have to write lead instead of leads. Okay, so here we have written deleted. So it will not be written like deleted. It will be is deleted. So here I will write is deleted equals to true. So here we have to write lead instead of leads. And again, I will run the query. So now you can see we have got the deleted records with the fields that we have selected over here. To undelete the records, we only need the ID of this. So what I will do, I will copy the IDs. And then I will open a Excel file, new Excel file. And then paste those record over here. So here I will make some adjustment to synchronize the data. So as you can see, the ID is under the ID column and name is under the name column. And now we will save this file in the CSV format and make sure that you save it on the location from where it can be accessed to the data loader. And after creating the CSV file, we have to go to the data and here select undelete. And now select the CSV file that we have created right now. And now you can see the CSV file is selected. So now you can see the CSV file was uploaded successfully and contains four rows. So we have to map the field with the CSV column. So we will select the ID field and after mapping, click on the button map fields and at last click on the button confirm undelete. And now you can see the lead records are successfully undeleted. So this is how you can undelete the data using the Salesforce workbench. But I will always recommend you to use the Salesforce data loader because it is efficient in performing bulk data operations. And also it is simple to use the data loader in comparison with Salesforce Workbench. So now at last I will show you the lead records that are removed from the recycle bin. So these are the lead records that I have restored. So again I will refresh it. So now you can see the leads are removed from the recycle bin and in the leads tab you will see those leads. So this was all about restoring and undeleting the data in Salesforce using the different methods where we have learned how to undelete the data from the Salesforce recycle bin in the manual method. Then we have used the Salesforce data loader to restore the deleted records. And at last we have used the Salesforce workbench to undelete the records. And I hope that you have liked this video. Then please do like, share and subscribe us. And do not forget to hit the bell icon so that you can get regular updates of our upcoming videos. And thank you for giving your time and watching this video till last. See you in the next video. Till then, goodbye.